4.1 is officially here. And without any further ado, here's some updates and changes that done in the version 4.1. As for today, daily system will have encounter points. This point could be obtained by opening chests, completing quests, collecting some special items, and completing events. Completing these points will give us 40 prime items, so you can choose either to finish the daily quest or collecting the encounter points. In case you finish the encounter points, you still can do your daily, but it will not give you another prime gems. And just to be clear, you still need to go to Catherine to claim another 20 prime gems just like before. Fatui Wind and Frost Operative could be encountered around Fountain Area. These new enemies will drop a new material that can be used for character and weapon enhancement material. Millennial Pearl Seahorse will be the new boss that dropped Nivellet Ascension's material and the experimental food generator will drop new essences material that could possibly be used for Riosley. Tomb of the Eternal Flow and Castle of Supervision will be featured as 5-star weapon in 4.1 along with new 4-star weapons. Among those new 4-star weapons, the Dog's Hand Assistant is the first 4-star HP sword in the game, which will be a good option for Nilo's main. New Archon Quest Act 3 and 4 will be available after you finish the previous Archon Quest. New story quest for Nivellet will also be available after you finish the last Archon quest, Cataclysm Quickening. A new world quest, Unfinished Comedy, also added to the game along with its quest chains. Fountains of Lucian's level cap is increased to 30 in version 4.1. Five new name cards also added to the game. Nivellet Search, Risley Detention, Traveler Note Falling Star, Achievement Perpetual, and Fountains Redemption. New character card is coming to TCG gameplay. Those are Dia, Wanderer, and Yao Yao. The avatar screen now show both character's original avatar and the new outfit one. You can use the avatar even your character didn't use the new skin, but you still need to own that outfit to be able to use the corresponding avatar. Korean voice for Lisa in content related to 4.1 will be temporarily provided by Shin Nari, which also said to voice Fontaine's character, Chlorin. Some material exchange limit in Stardust Exchange has been increased in version 4.1. So those are some changes and updates done in 4.1. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.